as the target. But I know that you have also been the target of the status quo uh, and the, the establishment. Um, and you know, we, we have had a conversation amongst us about what is possible um, after November 4th. Uh, and what's what's giving you what's giving you hope? What's making you feel energized to continue the fight? Look, and I think each of you have said the same thing in in different ways. Our first fight is to defeat Trump, and that has to that has to happen. And I know all of us are working very hard to make that happen. But we understand that electing Biden is not the end all; it is the beginning. Okay. And I think as the result of the work that all of you have done, Biden's proposals in this campaign are a lot stronger than they were in the primary. Alexandria uh, was on the uh, climate change task force, did a great job. Uh, and his proposals are stronger. Do they go as far as we would want? No, they don't. Okay. Biden, unlike Trump, does not conceive of himself as a dictator. That means you have your job in the House, I've got my job with others in the Senate. And we're not giving up on our agenda. For example, one area, you know, Biden wants to expand health care, that's good. Wants to lower prescription drug costs, that's great. Wants the double funding for community health centers, very important. But you know and I know that at the end of the day, the only way that we're going to provide quality care to every man, woman, and child in an affordable way is through Medicare for all. And we ain't giving up on that struggle. All right. We're going to introduce Medicare for all. Believe me, we are. And we have, because of all of your efforts and the efforts of great doctors and nurses and others throughout the country, we got a majority of the people who support us. So thank you for that. Green New Deal. We ain't giving up on that. We know, my God, I mean, every day I mean, the horrors that are going on on the West Coast right now, all over the world, Australia burning, West Coast burning. We have got to be bolder than ever before in tackling climate change. And as Alexandria and all of you have pointed out, we can create millions of good paying jobs as we do it. We're going to go forward on that issue, on criminal justice, on immigration. All right, We're not retreating. So our first task, we've made it clear to everybody, it's no great secret. Our first task, we've got to defeat the worst president in the modern history of this country. And number two, we organize our people to make sure that Biden becomes the most progressive president since FDR. That's that's what I'm envisaging. That's right. And, 